Hello, criminal defense attorney here, Mark Rosenfeld. I want to talk to you guys for a minute about what to do if you're involved in an accident. I am not a personal injury attorney. I'm not coming at this from a uh, civil uh, responsibility point of view. I'm coming at this as a criminal defense attorney and what happens if somebody gets in an accident and maybe they don't have their driver's license with them or their driver's license may be expired or there may be an issue with insurance. You cannot just leave or flee the scene. We don't wanna be in a situation where there is a hit and run. Those are additional charges and can become a very, very serious problem. Of course, if somebody is hurt, you need to stay and administer aid. But if it's just a regular accident, fender bender or something like that, you need to stop and exchange information. The vehicle code is very clear on what your responsibility and obligations are, and they're quite extensive. You need to exchange name, contact information, and insurance information if you have it. What you do not have to do is stay and wait for the police to arrive. So you need to comply with your responsibilities of exchanging information but once you've done this, as long as there's no injuries and everybody is okay, you can leave. So I always would recommend to a client if they are involved in an accident to stay and exchange information. And then once the information is exchanged, go about your business. A lot of times people will want someone to wait for the police to arrive. And depending on where you are, that could happen quickly but it also could take a very long time. If you're in Beverly Hills, the police may respond within five minutes. But if you're a block away and you're in Los Angeles for a non-injury accident, LAPD may never respond. They may respond two hours later and there's no requirement that you stay for two hours and wait for the police. So if you are involved in an accident, hopefully nobody is hurt, but you do need to stay and exchange information and once the information is exchanged, you can go about your day. I would recommend that you use your cell phone or other camera to document everything involved with the accident. You wanna document the location, the streets, the weather conditions, the number of people in the cars, the damage, and maybe any statements that somebody may make. You can use the, an audio recording app or a video. So you want to exchange information and move about your day. If you have any questions about an alleged hit and run or any criminal matter, please call my office. Thank you.